Hey everybody, Prudence here with VigilPrudence.com. We are in the middle of Hurricane Irma right now. I still have power, but uh, I don't want to dirty any pans or uh, while I'm cooking anything, I thought it'd be a good time to open up another MRE. I do not have my studio set up. I'm kind of in hurricane mode. So this is going to kind of be done with my handheld here, my handheld camera, which is a Canon G7X. And I'm going to try a beef brisket entree. So hold on, let me get it opened up for you. I'm going to set the camera down. I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got it opened up. And the first thing we've got is chocolate chip cookies. That's good comfort food in the middle of a hurricane. And then we've got some toffee cubes which I don't know if they're maybe square chocolate flavored toffee cubes. I don't know. I was going to say square uh, Tootsie Rolls, but I don't know. That'll be interesting. We have some cheese spread, which probably is no good anymore. These MRE, your standard spoon and accessory kit. Oh, we have butter buds. What do we need butter buds for? We have crackers, barbecue sauce, that's probably for the brisket, uh, a biscuit, this is going to be a good comfort food meal, cocoa beverage powder, um, I'm going to have to look up, it seems like one of these uh, cocoa powders was on a recall. I'm not going to drink this now anyway. I'm going to just drink water. Here's the flameless ration heater. I do still have power, so I'm not going to use that. I'm just going to actually boil this. And then here is the actual brisket in gravy with seasoned beef brisket slices. And there is the ingredients. We just got a National Weather Service alert, so let me uh, let me go hear what that is, see how the weather's deteriorating. When I come back, I'll let you know the date code is on this beef brisket. So there we are. We're boiling the brisket. I even put the biscuit in. Whoo, that's hot. I even put the biscuit in for a little bit just so it could kind of warm up. Oops, sorry. You steamed up there. So I'm uh, boiling the brisket and kind of warming the biscuit. We'll get it back out and get it on a plate and let you see what it all looks like. Okay, so there is the beef brisket with the biscuit. Which, interesting looking biscuit. I did warm that up a little bit. And uh, just to let you know that... Uh, weather alert was a flood advisory for the area. So I give this a quick taste. Then I'm going to eat it off camera. I'll come back and kind of let you know how it, how it is. I'm going to open up the crackers as well. But again, I'm not set up my normal configuration right now. So I'm hand holding the camera. So I'm short of hand. So let's give this a taste. Mmm. That's very good. A little salty. But that is very, very good. So, I'm going to go ahead and eat this. And uh, I'm going to open up the crackers and eat some crackers again. I'm on this little purple plate here. Because I don't want to dirty any dishes. I could wash them, obviously. I do still have water. But, um... Which is a lot easier kind of rinse this off, throw it out. So uh, I'll get back to you after I finish this up and let you know how it is. Okay, as you can see, I cleaned my plate. That was a delicious meal. I will tell you it was salty. So I highly recommend if, if you get the beef brisket, um, definitely you want to have some water or a Gatorade or something with that. It was very salty. Uh, the biscuit was a very dense biscuit, but it was very good. 
and I would highly recommend you eating the biscuit with the brisket um, because the two of those went, went very well together. This brisket was packaged June 16 of 2010. So June 16 of 2010, so just a little over uh, seven years old, um, and it was still very good. Uh, it was stored in uh, an environment that ranged anywhere between 72 and 79 degrees on a consistent basis. At least that's um, once we purchased them. Uh, we purchased these MREs years ago, probably uh, three, maybe four years ago on eBay. So I believe when we purchased them at the time, they were already three years old or so. So I don't know how they were packaged then, but I will tell you the little uh, seal on the box it did not show that they had been in any extreme heat. That seal still had the, the proper indicator with the, the red background and the circle and the uh, red in the center of the circle. So that looked good. But uh, again, this was the beef brisket. Sorry I didn't have this set up in the normal setup. We are in hurricane mode here, so the the studio is, has been taken down. The cameras have been put away, all except for this Canon G7X. And uh, we do have power right now, but we are we are doing things in such a way that it limits our use of food, uh, not food, but of of dirtying plates and whatnot. So this will be rinsed off, and the fork will be just thrown away. And uh, these are why we have these MREs. Primarily, we wait for when the power goes out. But once the power goes out, the MREs are a perfect thing to eat in the interim uh, while you're home at night. Obviously, you're going to probably have to go out during the day, maybe to where you work, and you may have power there. But an MRE is a perfect thing to eat in that interim at home when you don't have power. Again, freeze-dried foods are a good thing to eat as well, such as a mountain house or some other freeze-dried food. But if you don't have power, you can't really boil water. I mean, you can because you'll have propane. We do have propane. We have charcoal. We have several ways of warming things. But an MRE is a very easy solution to get a pretty good meal. They're relatively moderately priced. I mean, that whole MRE package, uh, when you divide it out, what we bought for the case, I think it comes out to be $6.00. And you could go out to, to a fast food restaurant and, and pay 6 to $8. And in my opinion, the food quality wouldn't even be as good as what this was. This was a very good meal. So, I just wanted to touch base with you. My name is Prudence. This is VigilPrudence.com. I'd appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, subscribe. Give me that thumbs up. And we'll catch up with you probably after Hurricane Irma has left the state. If I called that Hurricane Emma previously, sorry about that. Hurricane Irma has left the state. So thanks so much. We'll check back with you later.